Thank you, Martin and, and Lorenzo for the invitation. Um, so as you said, I will talk about tropical differential equations. So it's a very new topic in, uh, in tropical geometry. Um, and actually the first time it was someone talked about tropical differential equations was in 2015 by Dimitri Grigoriev. Um, in this paper, he started looking, uh, introducing the definition of tropicalization for a differential polynomial. And he started looking at some um, mostly uh, computational aspects of looking for uh, uh, tropical solutions to such a tropicalization and mainly in the in the linear case. But then he left um, an open question. So I was asking if we work uh, with coefficients in power series over a, non, over a trivially valued field, can we, um, can we prove a theorem similar to the fundamental theorem of uh, tropical geometry in this setting? So if we tropicalize a differential equation, we look at, the, at its tropical solutions are these the same uh, um, uh, this the same set uh, as the solutions uh, as the tropicalization of the solutions? So uh, the next year, uh, so 2016, uh, Aroka Garantogani actually proved this theorem. So now there is a, a fundamental theorem for uh, for tropical uh, differential actually algebra more than geometry. Um, and here, my, my main aim is, for, first of all, to uh, extend um, this, um, this idea and all this framework in, this, in which they were working to non-trivially valued coefficients. So I want to work with coefficients in, a, in power series over a field, but I want the field to, to be non-trivially valued. And my main example would be um, uh, periodic numbers. Then uh, I want to use uh, tools from um, introduced by, by my supervisor, Jeff Jan Siracusa and his brother Noah, uh, in order to find a kind of, uh, to prove a kind of uh, functor of points statement. So I want to say uh, solutions to equations are in bijection with morphisms of some objects. Um, and last, um, which will be actually the main, uh, the main aim of the talk. And then uh, just to somehow prove that this new framework is uh, consistent. Uh, some other things can be proved, in particular a co-limit theorem, which is recalling in some way uh, Payne's inverse limit theorem. So um, I will go, since I think uh, this topic is not very uh, popular, I will go through uh, the very basics uh, as introduced in this um, paper by Aroka Garantogani. Uh, then I will just recall what the band relations are. Um, and finally, after this, I will introduce pairs, which are the objects uh, between which we look for morphisms uh, to, to actually state this bijection between solutions and morphisms. Uh, they have a reduction factor, uh, which somehow tells us that, I mean, we, which we'll use somehow to look for uh, the, the minimal uh, objects we like. Then I will go through uh, very quickly through the definition of what I mean by uh, differential polynomial semiring over a differential semiring. Finally, uh, I will state the theorem and uh, also define a differential tropicalization factor in order to state the theorem. And then uh, I will go through in the few uh, in the last few slides. I will go through the other results I was talking about in the in the previous slide. So. Let's see, first of all, what we mean by, uh, by differential equation. So in general, uh, we will talk about differential equations. We will, talk, uh, we will uh, mean uh, differential polynomials as introduced by Reed uh, around the, the 1950s. So uh, given a differential ring R, uh, I will use these curly brackets x1, xn to talk about polyno this polynomial algebra, which is actually a shortcut for uh, this. So we adjoin, um, we adjoin variables from one to n, and then we adjoin all their formal uh, derivatives. And the uh, derivation on this, uh, the differential on this uh, ring will be, will be um, is defined in this way. So we send xij to xij plus one, then uh, this will be extended by linearity and by Leibniz rule. 
So for example, if I, if I have something like this, uh, let, let's say that R is an element of uh, the, the base ring, the coefficient ring, then this would be the derivative in R of small r times xij plus uh, r times xij plus one. So in this way, we can uh, obviously uh, extending it by linearity, we can uh, we can differentiate any polynomial in this algebra. So we get another differential uh, ring. Um, what is the solution to such a to such a polynomial? Uh, if we have given an entaple, if we are given an entaple of elements in R, then we say that this is a solution for P. If when I plug into x i j the j derivative of the i um, component, we get zero. So, um, for example, maybe it makes things a bit clearer. Uh, if we fix R to be um, the differential ring of power series over uh, the complex numbers, then we can write, uh, we can take as our R um, sine of t square, because we can write it as a power series. Uh, then uh, considering the polynomial uh, t square sine t squared x plus one over four x prime uh, squared minus t squared, then it's quite easy to see that uh, this is a solution. We just plug uh, into x sine of t squared. We plug into x prime the derivative, so 2t times cos cosine of uh, t squared. And then we see that this is actually given zero. So a sine of t squared is a solution for uh, uh, the differential polynomial p. Okay, coming to, um, so now we have defined uh, what we mean by, by uh, differential equations. Now we'll, let's see uh, the setting of this uh, fundamental paper in, uh, in the subject and how, so in order to state the fundamental theorem, we need three ingredients. We need to be able to tropicalize the polynomials in the first place, to be able to tropicalize and tuple of elements in, uh, in, in K of T. And then we, we need the definition of uh, what is a tropical solution for a, for a tropicalized polynomial. So let's start uh, from the setting. So we, we consider a field, uh, trivially valued, algebraically closed, and of characteristic zero. Actually, here I wrote zero and one, but I will probably use more this notation. Um, and then, uh, if we build a power series over it, we can uh, consider the differential given by a derivative of t is equal to one. And uh, we can keep it with the t adic valuation as, as usual. So in this talk, I will usually, uh, I will always uh, consider tropical numbers, not just as tropical numbers, but as t to the power r. Uh, so it, it's just an isomorphism uh, of, um, of uh, it's an endomorphism of t. Uh, so for example, if I write t of r plus t of s, this would be t of the minimum of r and s. And the same if I write uh, this, this would be t as usual plus r plus s. Okay, this way I, I don't have to, um, to struggle too much or to introduce weird notations. Everything will follow very easily just by multiplying. <coughs> So uh, let's see, first of all, as I was saying, how to tropicalize a differential polynomial. Uh, if we are given a polynomial uh, as, I, as I showed you before, then uh, we tropicalize it just by um, coefficient-wise valuation. So the added coefficient-wise valuation in this case. Uh, I would just like to make you notice, I mean, here I use two different notations on the left and on the right. So, as an algebra over R, this one is exactly uh, as the other one. So it's X1 infinity, Xn infinity. But I want to stress the fact that on the left, I'm, I really have a, a differential ring, while on the right, I'm just taking a semi-ring. Because uh, at first we tried really to introduce, uh, because at first we, had this, we have this valuation. So we thought, uh, let's try to make it the differential somehow compatible with the differentials. There is no way to do this and uh, in, a, in a nice way. So in the end we thought, okay, it's not worth to, to try to build the differential structures here. We just look at it as a, as a semi-ring and we don't care too much. 
So um, same uh, with the same example as before, if we take uh, P the same polynomial as before, then um, the tropicalization is given this way. So uh, the, the coefficient of X is T squared sine T squared. Sine T squared starts with the T squared as well. So we get T to the power four. Here, we just have a, a coefficient in C. So we get T to the zero and there we get T squared. So this is the, what we mean by tropicalizing uh, a differential polynomial. I mean, it's nothing very uh, shocking, I guess, but... Um, Sorry, St Stefano? Yeah, yes. Can I check? I mean, you're, by saying that you're throwing away the differential structure, I can just think about it as a polynomial, as tro the same as tropicalizing in a polynomial ring in infinitely many variables. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay. This, I mean, you mean the, the one on the right? No, well, just the tropicalization perspective, the whole tropicalization. Yeah. Ooh, I mean, I, I could, if I just thought of the left also as just having infinitely. Yes, variables. yes, 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 yes. I mean, actually, uh, here the, the, the differential structure is not playing any role. So, yes. Right. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, so. Uh, here I'm, I'm somehow translating uh, in a in a slightly different language what is uh, what was the notation in uh, in this uh, in this paper about the fundamental theorem, and uh, by by translating it in a more semi-ring like uh, language, we can actually uh, see that the first example of a differential enhancement, which will be uh, the one of the main actors in this talk. Uh, but I will I will need a bit more background to to introduce them, so it will come a bit later. But differential enhancement somehow will play the same role as valuations play uh, in uh, in the classical tropical geometry setting. Here, uh, this role will be played by by differential enhancements. So as I said, we have this uh, valuation from power series to uh, tropical numbers. Then we consider uh, another map, and we also had a trivial valuation. Uh, how did I call it? VK from K to the booleans. So now we consider this map nu from power series over K to power series over the booleans, uh, which is just the coefficient wise application of the trivial valuation. And obviously, this way we can tropicalize um, L and tuples uh, of elements of power series over K just by applying it coordinate by coordinate. So for example, if I have something like, uh, I don't know, this, for example, in, uh, in C of T, then this is sent to uh, T plus T squared. So we don't care about the coefficient in front. And then uh, we can consider another map from Boolean power series to tropical numbers, which is just the adic valuation. But in this case, uh, between these two semi-rings, this is actually an amorphism of semi-rings. So, um, what we get uh, is that the value, the theadic valuation from uh, from k from uh, power series over k to t factors through these two maps, and but these two maps somehow are, I mean, this map in particular is commuting with the differentials, so now we are actually going through uh, a semi ring that has a differential, and how do we define a differential in the in the obvious way? So it will be defined like this. And here by differential, I really mean a map that is additive and satisfying Leibniz rule. Uh, later on, I will introduce a more general uh, notion of differential semi-ring, but so far this, this one is already a differential semi-ring. And for our purposes so far, it's perfectly uh, nice. So um, the last ingredient I need to state the theorem is uh, how I, do I, uh, evaluate a polynomial, a tropical polynomial, and what is the solution? So, if we're given a, an entouple of, of Boolean power series, um, we call Grigoriev evaluation in B uh, this semi ring homomorphism that sends uh, xij to uh, phi of the jth derivative of bi. So, coming back, phi was uh, the theadic valuation. So, we have an entouple of Boolean power series we take the, the j derivative of the, bi, of the ith uh, component, and then we, we push it to t. We plug it in here, and obviously the output is a, is a tropical number. 
So uh, the, an example of power series is said to be solution, uh, as usual in tropical geometry, if uh, the minimum is achieved at least twice, is attained at least twice, or uh, if it is infinity. So let's see an example, which is always the same example. So uh, as, we've seen, uh, as we've seen before, the tropicalization of P is this polynomial. Um, we take sine of T squared, we tropicalize it, we just forget about the coefficients. Then um, we look at the Grigorev evaluation of this tropicalization in uh, the tropicalization of this of sine t squared. So in x, we plug the leading to, the leading coefficient here, um, so t squared. Here in, in x prime, we plug the derivative, um, the uh, leading uh, power of the derivative of this. So we get t squared derivation derivative gets uh, t. So t and then squared. So here and then uh, plus t squared. So you see that here we get the minimum, which is t squared twice. So it means that um, the tropicalization of sine t squared is a solution, uh, which is also uh, somehow giving us an example of, um, of the easy uh, containment of the fundamental theorem. Uh, in, uh, in other words, that uh, the tropicalization of a solution is a solution for the tropicalization of the polynomial. And actually, the, the opposite is true as well. Um, so if we are given a differential idea uh, inside the differential ring of, of uh, polynomials in n variables over k of t, then uh, tropicalizing the solutions to i with respect to this map nu, or uh, looking at the solution for the tropicalization of the ideal, um, give the same set. So these two sets are both contained in Boolean power series. Now, um, I mean, first of all, if there are there is any question here. Okay. So um, I introduced the second ingredient, uh, so band relations. Um, so if we Consider uh, an idempotent semiring T and a polynomial in n variables over T. Then, uh, for every monomial in its support, we can consider the polynomial which is uh, uh, which is produced by F just by deleting uh, the term corresponding to the monomial M. And we call uh, band congruence the congruence the semiring congruence generated uh, by these relations. So if we're given an ideal, then we consider these relations for every element of the ideal and for every monomial in the support of such an element. This, this uh, congruence uh, allow us to behave well with the, with the localization and with a lot of things. So they, they allow us to talk about uh, a, tropical, uh, a tropical scheme theory. And in particular, the, the, the statement I want to, to emulate somehow is of this form. So if we are given a evaluation over a ring R and an ideal uh, in n variables uh, over R, then uh, given any other algebra over T, there is a bijection between uh, the, the tropical solutions in T prime to the tropicalization of the ideal I and morphisms of the algebras from uh, the quotient of the semiring of polynomials in n variables by the band relations of the tropicalization of the ideal and t prime. Uh, furthermore, uh, if we uh, tropicalization is uh, can be defined as a factor. So, um, in particular, between uh, if we look at our uh, uh, algebra as presented from um, polynomial algebra, then we can tropicalize this. And this tropicalization is factorial. I will say a bit more later on. Um, so the main uh, point here that I would like to, to achieve uh, is first of all, a theorem similar to this one. And in order to state this one, I want to introduce a differential, polynom a differential tropicalization factor. OK. So uh, here, <clears throat> uh, I want to give you an idea why we started thinking about pairs 
uh, in the specific case uh, treated uh, by a Roca Garanto gang. So if we look uh, for every n tuple of Boolean power series, uh, we can consider this diagram. So we can take a polynomial, a differential polynomial with coefficients in Boolean power series. We can just plug into every x an element uh, of b, and obviously in the derivatives, the, 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 the appropriate derivatives. Then uh, we get a Boolean power series. We can look at its uh, leading term. On the other hand, we can uh, look at the leading term of the, of the coefficients of the polynomial and then uh, apply uh, this Grigoriev evaluation and the result is exactly the same. So it's not hard to see, it's really by definition of the uh, solution I gave before, that something is a solution. Uh, if we are given an ideal, uh, an n-tuple of power series is a solution to its tropicalization, if and only if the Grigoriev evaluation uh, factors through the quotient by the band relations of the tropicalization of the ideal. So we get a commutative diagram like this. So now the point is, I'm saying B is a solution to the tropicalization of the ideal. If I get a map, uh, if I get something like this here, if I can, um, if I can um, draw this diagram with these two maps. So the idea is, okay, let's look at these two blocks as the objects we want to talk about. This way I can say B is a solution if and only if I have a map between these two objects. Now I need to define uh, formally what these objects are. And then I, I have to prove the theorem. So in order to uh, define these objects, and actually I could define them even without introducing any more uh, uh, notions, but I want also to uh, extend this framework to non-trivially valued coefficients. And to, in order to do this, I can't uh, restrict myself anymore to considering, as I was doing on Boolean power series, uh, just the, the usual Leibniz rule, the classical one. So we, we give a, a broader definition of uh, differential semirings. So in particular, a differential semiring uh, from now on will be an idempotent semiring uh, equipped with an additive map uh, such that for every n and for every n elements, in S, we have that this sum uh, tropically vanishing. By this, I mean that um, this sum is equal to any other sum uh, when we delete just one term. So for example, this one would be equal to uh, this part. So S1, S2, Si, Sn, and so on. So for example, here we deleted this term. So let's see examples of these uh, differential semirings. So first of all, let's notice that um, if uh, a differential semiring, so if an idempotent semiring has a differential that satisfies usual Leibniz rule, then this one is also uh, satisfying this relaxed one. So in particular, Boolean power series are a differential semiring with the definition I just gave. Uh, then we can introduce something that is purely uh, depending on this fact that we relax the Leibniz rule. In particular, um, for example, if, I, if we fix a prime number P uh, and we consider, Boolean, uh, we consider a power series over the tropical numbers, then um, we can introduce this derivative, which sends, um, I mean, I can write it this way as well. So it sends Ti to, uh, the periodic valuation of i times t i minus one. Okay, here maybe I, I need to choose some uh, normalization of the valuation, but it's not fundamental. So it's easy to, it's quite easy to prove, and it really depends on the fact that VP is a valuation, um, that uh, this semiring equipped with this uh, derivative is actually a differential semiring. And we, I will write it with this shortcut uh, with the um, P. So finally, we can define uh, the objects we want to look for morphisms between. So, uh, okay, the name is not very, uh, we did 
didn't use uh, too much fantasy to give the name, but let's call them pairs. Uh, so a pair will be an amorphism of semi-rings uh, where we want the um, domain of the function to be a differential semi-ring. And then uh, morphisms between them will be morphisms like this. So if we have another pair, uh, Psi prime, then uh, a morphism will be a pair of morphisms. The first one, uh, which I call F2, even if it's the first one, um, it's a um, an homomorphism of differential semi-rings. And the other one, an homomorphism of semi-rings, such that this diagram commutes. So pretty standard. Um, so somehow pairs will play. Um, so when we, when we talk about um, solutions as morphisms, usually we have uh, a ring of coefficients, uh, an ideal in, in some polynomial ring, and we look for solutions in an algebra over the ring we fixed. Uh, here we'll do something similar, but the role of the ring will be played somehow by, by a pair. And the role of the algebra will be play, played by a pair that receives an arrow from the fixed one. So somehow these pairs will be our rings. And uh, fixing one of these pairs, then we can consider the category of pairs that receive an arrow from it. And with morphisms commuting with this structure morphism. And this one will be somehow our algebras to look for solutions in. So as I was saying uh, at the beginning in the summary, uh, we don't want to take any pair. We want to consider pairs such that uh, in which S really adds the, the minimal information in order to consider derivatives uh, over, over T. So uh, we say that the, a pair is reduced if we can't find another pair uh, and the surjective, such that we have a diagram like this with the surjective morphism here. Okay, obviously, here I didn't write it, but okay, we don't consider this morphism to be the identity because otherwise no pair would be reduced. Um, there is a way uh, to, to reduce a pair. So if we have any pair, we can consider um, the largest differential congruence in the kernel of Psi. So uh, Psi, as I said uh, in the definition of a pair, is a morphism of uh, semi-rings. So its kernel is a congruence, but it's a semi-ring congruence. I can look for the largest congruence inside the kernel, which is also closed with respect to the derivation. So in this way, I will find something that is contained in the kernel. But if I take the quotient by this, I still get a, a differential semi-ring. So uh, we take the quotient by this tilde. And uh, what we get? doesn't admit any uh, more uh, surjective morphisms like this. So uh, we call this the reduction of, uh, of Psi. In particular, uh, we can define a category of reduced pairs, which is a full subcategory of the one of uh, pairs. And this reduction is a, is a functor such that if we apply it twice, so it's idempotent. Uh, if we take a, a, redu a, redu a reduced pair, uh, its reduction will be uh, the same pair. There any question? Okay, given uh, the definition of a pair, um, I mean, pairs will be, will be useful for us in two ways. We will use them as uh, the objects, the category in which we look for morphism in, and we will also need them in order to define what uh, differential enhancement is. As I said, differential enhancement has this, uh, these objects that play the same role as, uh, valuations do in the non-differential setting. So given uh, if we fix a differential ring and a valuation over this differential ring, we will call a differential enhancement over this valuation um, a, a couple of things. So a reduced pair from a, sem a differential same ring to T and a differential map uh, from R to S. By differential map, I really mean like a map of sets that commutes with the differentials. Exactly as in the in the first uh, example I gave, here we had uh, power series over K, here we had Boolean power series, and here we had tropical numbers. So, okay, I forgot to plug my laptop.
okay and we want this diagram to commute as uh, so the example i in the example i gave you before i didn't prove one thing so in, in particular that this pair here was uh, reduced so that, that the adequate valuation between boolean power series and t was reduced but it's pretty easy to to prove it i hope you will trust me so um, let's see now an example in which we really uh, get out of the trivially valid uh, case. So we consider um, as, so here we had to choose a T. So we consider as our T, uh, T square Lex. So the semi-ring R squared union infinity with lexicographic order. And we consider the rank two valuation uh, from uh, the adic uh, power series to T square Lex. That sends a, a theadic power a theadic power series to uh, its leading um, power in the first in the first coordinate, and the theadic valuation of the leading uh, coefficient in the second one. So this one, thanks to the fact that uh, here we use lexicographic order, is actually evaluation. So now we get uh, we got our uh, our valuation from V to T. And we want to, to complete the triangle. So the next thing we need is a differential map. So um, we consider the map uh, between uh, power series over uh, periodic numbers and uh, this um, tropical power series with this kind of periodic valuation uh, that is just given by coefficient wise application of the periodic valuation on the coefficients of the series. And this is differential thanks to the fact that here we consider this particular derivation. Uh, the last thing we need is the arrow here, which is an homomorphism of semi rings, and that has to be reduced. So, what's going on? Okay. So, uh, in this case, uh, this is really uh, more or less the same map as before. So, we send uh, the uh, um, tropical power series to its leading power and leading term and leading coefficient. So it's very easy to see that this diagram commutes. The only thing I didn't prove is that this arrow here is reduced, but now we got a differential enhancement on a, on a field with non-trivially, I mean, on a power series ring with non-trivially valid coefficients. And now we want somehow to introduce a, a notion of solution, a notion of tropicalization and so on in order to, um, be able at least to state a fundamental theorem, for example. I mean, I won't prove any fundamental theorem, but we need all the ingredients that would be needed to, to state it. So in the first place, uh, I want to introduce what I mean by differential polynomials uh, over a differential semi-ring. So I won't go, uh, I won't spend too much time on the definition because it's really quite annoying, but um, I mean, I can, I can for sure uh, go through it uh, more in detail when uh, in the question time. So, but in general, if it's possible, given a differential semi-ring, to define a differential semi-ring of a polynomial or differential polynomials in n variables over it. And it, this will satisfy uh, the usual uh, universal property of polynomials. In particular, uh, just to give you an idea of what this object would look like, um, a polynomial here will be uh, a sum uh, with Boolean coefficients of our kind of monomials, which will be uh, trees, rooted trees, with um, um, leaves labeled by elements of S and by uh, variables and their derivatives. So in particular, just to give an example, I can consider something like S1, S2, I don't know, X, one prime x2 uh, second or things like this this would be uh, this would i mean this would roughly mean take the the um, sorry this would roughly mean x1 prime s2 times the derivative of s1 x2 second for example so uh, i if I give you the, the operations here, you will understand why this is true. So product will be given by joining two trees at the root and uh, derivation is given by adding one segment to the stem of the tree. 
So here, as you can see, this is the product of the tree uh, with a single leaf given by X1 prime, the tree with a single leaf F2, S2, and the tree which is derivative of the product of these two leaves. So this is somehow a way to uh, avoid, uh, I mean, the point is that in these semi-rings, we don't have a Leibniz rule that would, because if we have Leibniz rule, then this tree decomposes and we really get something that is just a sum of products of leaves. So we don't need any stem going up. But here the Leibniz rule doesn't give you this possibility, that doesn't give us this possibility. So we need to consider very general things like this. Okay, and then, okay, I mean, here I take some, some relate. I model by some relations. For example, I want, uh, I don't know, if I take a product S1, S2 in S, then I want this to be the same as the single leaf uh, tree S1 times S2 and things like this. Okay, so from now on, I will fix uh, a, differ a differential uh, enhancement. So evaluation from R to T, a differential map for, to a semi ring, uh, differential semi ring S, and an homomorphism of semi rings, uh, reduced pair from S to T. So this will be fixed from now on. And uh, <clears throat> so just to, uh, I will go back very quickly. So just to recall, in the setting of Aroka Garantogani, here we had um, differential polynomials over a semi ring. Here we had our uh, basic uh, pair, uh, yeah, pair, reduced pair. And here we could plug, we could plug this, uh, this semi ring. Now we can't anymore because here we have monomials that are given by trees. And down here, monomials are given just by a product of, uh, of leaves without stems going up. And we really don't know, uh, we really, I mean, I think it's not possible to find uh, some kind of decomposition uh, rule to, to go down to, to just the product of leaves. So we need to find something more clever to put in this, uh, in this place. In particular, um, for any n, uh, okay, here again, the name is not the most uh, fantasious one, but um, for any n, uh, let's consider T uh, S of X1, Xn to be the push out of this diagram. So S of X1, Xn is an algebra over S. Here I put, uh, so this is the structure morphism. Here I consider uh, the, the fixed pair phi, and I want to, to fill this, this place with the, the universal, uh, the universal I mean, I take the push out in the category of semi rings. Uh, actually, since I gave you a very quick uh, idea of what this uh, S of X1, Xn is, we can also look at this TS of X1, Xn in a, in a more explicit way. So if I'm given uh, a tree like, okay, let's consider the same tree as I, as I was looking at before. So if I consider something like this, Then uh, the map that uh, the map from S X one X N to this semi ring is the map that sends this tree to uh, this tree given like this. So X one prime here on the on the higher levels we don't do anything, but here we we consider phi of S one of S one. So in the place of the leaves at the first level that were labeled by elements of S. We plug their uh, somehow their theadic valuation, for example, in the in the previous case. So we apply um, we apply the morphism phi to the leaves. Uh, this also means that uh, we are considering this semi ring. I mean, this as a semi ring and going modulo uh, the semi ring congruence given by the kernel of uh, of phi on the coefficients. So we can't go up the 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 trunk of the tree. But we consider this guy. And actually, this map will be somehow our, uh, um, if, I mean, our evaluation of the coefficients of the polynomial. So, okay, if we look at this one, we can easily see. So, this is an element in T. So, it's pretty easy to, I mean, it's straightforward to see that um, elements of uh, T of x1 infinity, x1 infinity are actually contained in here because somehow uh, they are just like elements of this form. So where I have a, um, a coefficient in T and then a monomial in, uh, in the XIs and the, and the derivatives. So this is actually a sub-semi ring. And uh, so 
And this is a very good news because in this way, uh, if we are given a differential ideal um, and then variables over R, then we can consider its band relation, its band congruence. This will be a congruence, a semi ring congruence on this semi ring. But then we can extend it, which is contained in D over S. So we can extend it to this one as well. Okay, so we have almost every all the ingredients to define the the, the tropicalization factor. We just I just need to tell you what is the the domain or where we live from with the uh, with the factor. So um, given a, fi a finitely generated differential algebra over R, we consider the category uh, which I will denote by CDF. Um, the category of a fine differential presentation of A. So objects are just subjective morphisms like this alpha. And arrows between these objects uh, are just um, um, arrows, I mean, a morphism of differential algebras between the polynomial uh, rings such that the diagram commutes. So finally, uh, I can give the definition of a differential uh, tropicalization factor. So uh, if we're given such a present differential presentation of A, then we define its tropicalization to be uh, the reduction of this pair. So we uh, somehow change uh, uh, base to the, to the differential polynomials. And in the lower level, so in the target of the pair, we put uh, this push out modulo the band relations of the tropicalization of the kernel. So this assignment is actually a factor from uh, uh, the category of affine presentation of A and uh, the category of reduced pairs over uh, phi. So phi was the, we had this differential enhancement and here was the map phi. So we're always looking at this phi. <clears throat> now in order to, uh, to get to this uh, tropical solutions as morphisms of pairs, I need to say what is a tropical solution uh, in this more general setting. So if we fix uh, another pair, another reduced pair over phi, and we take a presentation of our algebra, now just for a shortcut, I will use I as the kernel of alpha. Then uh, we set, uh, we define the set um, solutions in uh, psi of the tropicalization of I as the intersection over all the elements in the tropicalization of, uh, of I, of uh, n tuples of elements in the, in the domain of uh, Psi, such that uh, the minimum in the Grigoriev evaluation of P is attained at least twice, or it's the uh, additive identity of, S prime, of T prime for every polynomial uh, in the tropicalization of I. So, Maybe this will make it a bit clearer. So here you see uh, this diagram is really the, the updated version of the one uh, I've drawn uh, several slides ago. So if we are given um, an n-tuple of elements in uh, an n-tuple uh, in, uh, in S prime, then uh, we get again a commutative diagram. But now here, this Grigoriev evaluation, I'm cheating a little bit. This Grigoriev evaluation is not really defined in the same way as it was uh, back when we were thinking about S being Boolean power series. Uh, but um, it restricts to exactly the same uh, definition when we look uh, at the sub semi ring uh, T of X1 infinity X and infinity. So finally, um, we get to the, to the theorem. So in the same setting as before, so if we fix uh, a pair over our uh, fixed pair phi, uh, if we take a pair over our fixed pair uh, phi, um, then as I said before, I gave a definition of how uh, we look for solutions in phi to the tropicalization of the ideal I, then this set is exactly uh, in, is in bijection with the set of morphisms between the tropicalization of alpha and phi as pairs over, over phi, uh, and psi as pairs over phi. So, uh, I mean, somehow here I'm saying, okay, this is the, the philosophy is I have my ideal. I look for solutions to my ideal in an algebra. 
And this is the same as uh, morphisms between the quotient by medial to this algebra. So just to justify why this is true. So again, by the definition, the, the updated definition of solution, um, something is a solution if I can quotient here by the band relations of the tropicalization of I. But now um, reduction was functorial. So I can also take the reduction here and the diagram is still commuting. But what do I, what is this pair on the left now? It's exactly uh, by definition, this is the tropicalization of the presentation that has a kernel uh, I. So here I have that B is a solution if this, um, if I have a map between the tropicalization and the fixed pair psi. But if I have a, a, a map like this, then it means that the minimum here is achieved at least twice. So I can, so B is a, is a solution. And this is uh, the philosophy between this, by, uh, behind this bijection. Okay, so this is a nice place to stop for questions before going to the last uh, results. Okay. So uh, in these last few slides, I want to um, state um, this theorem I was saying, it's just somehow um, recalling uh, Payne's inverse limit theorem. Um, so first of all, I need to give a definition of uh, what, uh, okay, this is not a new definition. I mean. Um, given evaluation, if we take an algebra over T and an algebra over A, then uh, we say that an uh, evaluation over A to T prime is compatible with the given one on R if this uh, square commutes. And we want also to give a definition of a compatible uh, differential enhancement. So first of all, I need to, so I fix a differential enhancement. Then I consider a valuation on my algebra, which is compatible with V, so with the given one. And then I want to, I take um, a differential enhancement of such evaluation. And I say that this is compatible with the given one if this huge diagram commutes. <clears throat> so now uh, what we want to do is, okay, we don't have, um, we don't have a definition of a kind of differential Berkovich identification, but we know that, uh, I mean, we know several things about it, at least as a topological space, we know that the Berkovich identification is uh, uh, homeomorphic to the inverse limit of all the tropicalizations. And we also know that this inverse limit of all the tropicalization can be actually realized as a, as a tropicalization itself, uh, as a universal tropicalization. And uh, furthermore, this universal tropicalization has the, the property of um, representing the functor that associates to uh, a semi-ring the set of uh, compatible valuations from the fixed algebra to this semi-ring compatible with the one we had on, on, uh, on R. And somehow here we are, we are going to do something similar, somehow skipping the definition of uh, Berkowitz identification. So, um, okay, here, uh, actually, this slide is kind of uh, just um, saying that everything we did is kind of nice because the easy implication of the fundamental theorem is still true. So if I, if I take a, if I fix an algebra and an ideal, then, uh, and the differential enhancement of my algebra compatible with the one on R, then uh, I can tropicalize, so I can look at solutions to my ideal into A, I can tropicalize them, or I can uh, tropicalize the ideal and look for solutions into this uh, pair, which is a pair over the fixed one uh, over phi. And this one, these two uh, sets, I don't know if they are equal, but at least I know that the tropicalization of the solutions is contained in the solution of the tropicalization, in the solutions of the tropicalization. So this is a, a clue that. Uh, this 
extended generalized framework is at least uh, not so i mean it's working um okay last uh very last thing what i was saying before so so far i i i told you i can tropicalize um only presentations coming from uh, affine uh, so from from um differential rings with uh, finitely many variables actually i can do a, we can do a bit more so we can tropicalize uh, presentations coming from uh, some kind of f1 uh, objects so i don't have to restrict myself to finitely many uh, variables and to do uh, to state the theorem i was uh, the the statements i was talking about before i will actually consider this uh, differential semiring where I adjoin a variable for every element of A, and I define the derivative as, as derivative of x A, uh, it will be the, the, the variable uh, related to the derivative of A. So now I have a straightforward way to subject into A, which is given by a kind of evaluation map. So we send x A to A. And then even if here I'm cheating a little bit, I can consider the tropicalization of this presentation. So exactly as before, I take the push out here, modulo band relations of the kernel, and above it, I take uh, the, I mean, and then I take the reduction of this pair. Well, now this pair has uh, some universal properties, in particular, uh, and in particular, as in the non-differential case, the, the universal tropicalization is representing the factor uh, assigning to every semiring the set of compatible evaluations into this semiring. Here, something similar happens. So remember, I said differential enhancements are somehow playing the role that is played by evaluations in the non differential setting. So here, I consider the pair, the functor that is, so we fixed R, we fixed a differential enhancement on R, on R and, and we fixed the finitely generated differential algebra over R. So F will be uh, the functor that sends uh, a reduced pair over phi to the set of differential enhancements of A over this fixed pair, over this, uh, pair uh, psi that are compatible with the one given on R. This is somehow the generalization of uh, send T to compatible valuations over uh, 2T. And then uh, the, tr the tropicalization of the evaluation uh, uh, presentation of the previous page is actually uh, representing this functor. So every uh, compatible uh, differential enhancement can be uh, looked at as just take a pair, take a map from the universal tropicalization. This is giving you uh, a compatible one. And uh, last. Uh, we can realize the, the tropicalization of the evaluation as uh, the co-limit over uh, this category of a fine differential presentation of the tropicalization factor. So we don't have a definition of what uh, the Berkovich identification should be, even uh, in any way, but uh, we know that this, tropical, the, this universal tropicalization is uh, the co-limit of all the tropicalizations, and it's representing the functor associating a compatible uh, a differential enhancement to a pair. So the next step, obviously, would be to uh, try to look at this into. So here, so far, I just, I just did algebra. So the next thing would be, let's think how to to define some kind of spectra of these things of these pairs. Can we glue them, and so on, and so on, and so on. So this is there's a lot of work to be to be done, but for today, I think I will stop here.